everybody. It's your friend Isaac. And today I'm outside because uh, I want to talk about chain tensioners. Now, uh, I'm a big believer in chain tensioners now that I uh, have gotten back into riding this year. Um, pulling my bike towards me. Um, I'm a big believer in these because I think they are probably one of the most overlooked yet important parts of uh, like bike tech, keeping your bike running well. Um, they're super cheap. I think these are about 15 to 20 bucks for the SE ones. Um, I haven't used any of the other ones like Black Ops makes them. Um, if you want to go the whole chromey that direction, I know Bullseye makes them. Um, and there's some other ones that you can pay uh, half price of a bike to own. But um, I'm, and do, that's not a burn on people that like doing that to their bikes. Um, I just, I like to ride my bike. Um, I'm debating if I leave that stuff in. You know what? I believe it, so why not? Um, ride your bikes, man. And so this this video, if, if you're a, a show bike person, you don't even need, you know what these are. You don't need, you can just probably bounce out. This isn't going to be entertaining for you. Um, but if you want to have, if, you, if you've never installed these, don't know how to install these, or you're curious how they work, um, hang out, man. I'm going to put these on my bike and I'll explain why. I've had, I had some chain tensioners before. I had some red ones on my red Big Ripper. And um, Craig, when we, when we both bought our PK Rippers, um, I decided, we were talking about it, and I was like, I'm going to go purple with mine. And uh, purple accents. And he decided he was going to go red with his. He couldn't get any red chain tensioners. I had some red chain tensioners on my Big Ripper. Um, so I told him, hey, dude, I'll just send you those. You can have them. And uh, being the bro that he is, he found and he found me some gold ones. And he knows I don't care about the on my Big Ripper. Um, I don't care about how how beautiful the bike is or anything like that. Like the more color, the better. I um, to me, this is a tool that I use to have fun with. Um, it's not something where I look at it like it's a, a you know piece of art or something. So for me, I was like. Uh, I was just stoked that he he sent them and they're gold um and my bike here, has all kinds of different yellow and green and whatever color so um I I really don't care about the color of my bike um so I'm gonna put these on so first thing we'll do I'll explain how they work so And I apologize for wearing glasses. It's just so hot today in, in Phoenix. This is the inside. What you're looking at is the inside. This is the part that you will see on the outside of your bike. So this, this face is the inside of your dropout. So you back this out. And as you back this out, this piece will come back. So you're gonna line that, you're gonna unscrew, I'll walk you through it, but your, your axle nut is gonna go through one of these two holes. And then this plate that moves is going to rest against the back of your dropout. And then as you screw this in, it's going to pull the axle. If this is your axle, this is your uh, dropout. As you screw, it's going to pull the back of the wheel taut. And the idea that, that why you really want these is it will keep your bike, your wheel aligned, and it'll keep the chain, the chain tight. Um, and I never really cared about this because I was like, I'll just tighten my, my bolts down, my nuts. And, um, uh, but be, having the ability to, to turn these and, and literally like align your tire. Um, and what I'm talking about is like right here, you're getting your tire aligned between here and here. If you look, it's, it's not aligned right now. Um, and so hopefully you can see that I wasn't able to see the camera, but, um, it's not in alignment right now. So I'm excited to, to have that level. And, um, I'm going to show you there's like a, a high spot on your chain. And so that's what I use to adjust and, and determine how, um, determine the, the high point of the chain. That's when I, that's where I start setting my, uh, my chain tensioner. So. Let's get into it. All right, so I just loosened this up. And 
and this part goes on the inside. So I will back, back this out. And then we're going to determine which. Okay, so if I do that, if I, oh, that is on this hole. I cannot back. Let me see if I get this over here. And this is me just trying to determine. If I do it on that hole, I can't back this plate out enough to get to the back of my dropout. So, logically, I will go to the other hole. And magic. See how it sits flush against here? I back it all the way out. Let's see. So, I'm not gonna, I'm literally just that tight. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. You have an important thing to look at. Let's see if I can. Let me readjust the camera real quick. Because I'm gonna pay attention up here more than I'm paying attention down here. So first things first, I need to find where my my high spot in my chain is. my chain or my wheel is close over here I need to pull it that way which means I have to tighten up this side so I'm gonna loosen up this a little bit on this side on the opposite side and then I'll tighten up that side Your tight your uh, tire your straighten out. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just watching the, the tension on the chain. And you can feel it. It's too much tension. because my tire doesn't spin and this sounds like a guitar string so that is too tight so we're going to loosen loosen that a little bit it's good tension there That's the low point. That's the high point I feel. Let's 
checking the tension all the way around. Now because my chain tensioners are keeping everything aligned, I can just tighten the bolts, the axle nuts. Call it a day. All right, so now that those are tight, Important part that everyone forgets, myself included. All right, so I've got my chain tension. It's good tension. Got my alignment. That's good. Got these screwed in where I need them. Last thing to do is just lock these these down. Normally I just use a little tiny crescent wrench, but I let my friend borrow my crescent wrench. Never let your friends borrow your tools, man. No matter how much they tell you, I'll be back tomorrow. They never are. This is me just figuring out what size that is. Working my way through. Ten millimeter. Doing the last, last little check, and I've got my tire lined. Spins. Got the bolt. Got my axle nut tightened. Got these adjusted where I want it. Locked them here with a ten millimeter. And the Allen wrench you're going to use is going to be a, I should use a park tool, but it's a five millimeter for the Allen wrench. All right. So it's one side. It's the other side. Maybe that's a better view of what I was talking about with that, where the dropout actually goes. Goes inside, or the, the pedestal goes inside the dropout. So it's all tightened up. Feels good. Uh, I need to adjust my brakes, but I think I'll do that. Maybe I'll show you on a different video how to get your brakes aligned. If that's important. I don't know. Let me know if that's something you guys want to know how to do. I'm just doing this. I basically am just recording my own personal maintenance while I go through my bike. So anyway, have fun. Go ride your bikes and we'll see you soon.